How's it going, everybody? Welcome back to Prison Architect. Welcome back to Prison Architect Gangs, specifically. I hope you're having a good one, because I am excited to be back after almost a month of being away from Prison Architect. That wasn't an intentional thing. It was just one of those things that happened as other games came around that I wanted to play. But very recently, there was an announcement by Paradox, by Prison Architect on Twitter, that got me kind of excited and got me thinking I kind of want to play some Prison Architect. So here we are. But before we talk about that, if you haven't seen the process of building this prison, there is a full playlist here on the channel. I do encourage you to check it out. I might be a little bit biased, but I happen to think it was kind of fun. And if I remember to do so, I will link to the playlist in the video description. So on the 9th of September, 2022, an announcement was posted to the Prison Architect Twitter talking about a new update, the free for life update, which brings a bunch of free new things to Prison Architect on, I believe the 12th of September. The first thing that we're gonna be getting is an improved prisoner log and improved scheduler and the forum post reads always be aware of what's happening in your prison with the new prisoner log check your inmates activities uncover misconducts ahead of time and keep track of who gets released reformed or reoffended. we also improve the game's scheduler adding new options and settings in the palm of your hand the next thing in the forum post is the ability to save and reuse. Whenever you create a new prison, a new policy, or a quick build, you will be able to save them in your preferences. Save time setting up your prison next time you wish to start afresh. And now we come on to the part that I'm really excited about. Aging is caring. Now, inmates are divided into young, senior, and elderly. After spending an extended period of time in your prison, they will change both visually and functionally. They will also develop different needs compared to younger inmates. There are new guard ranks. Hired guards will now arrive at your prison unranked and will need to work hard to get promoted to officer and specialist officer. Their commitment will be paid off though, as each increase in rank will provide additional perks. And finally, we have improved building and planning tools. The planning menu is getting renewed with lots of new options for fences and walls. Moreover, when drawing your walls and using construction options, you'll see a new cursor-based tooltip stating the horizontal and vertical dimensions of the room, along with the planned cost for the currently drawn selection. And once again, that is the free for life update that's coming to Prison Architect on the 12th of September. I should say this video isn't sponsored. This isn't an ad for the expansion. It is coming out for free anyway. So if you have Prison Architect, you will be able to get it at least on PC on Steam. I don't know if the console versions, are there console versions of Prison Architect? I'm looking around me like there's someone to answer that question. I don't, I feel like there are. I'm pretty sure there's a console version of this. I don't know if the, if the DLC is coming for consoles or not, but it is coming to PC. And honestly, I'm so excited for aging because frankly, I have some hilarious ideas to make the most horrific retirement home that anyone has ever seen. And I'm really hoping that I can categorize my my inmates, my, my intake by age. Because if I can, that's going to be, I'd say hilarious, but it is going to be horrific. I'm just gonna say it straight up. It is going to be horrific. It's gonna be a terrible, terrible thing. But again, kind of funny. Now, when it comes to today, when it comes to what I want to do today, I want to go ahead and start getting some more function into this prison. We did spend a lot of time building this thing, and we haven't actually got visitation working yet. We do now, but of course, we might want to, you know, have to wait for the prisoners to actually have visitors come by. Now, what I did do before I hit the big red record button is I did go ahead and put some patrols in here. So essentially at all times, we are going to have guards who are in a position to, you know, patrol this place, look after it, make sure that the prisoners, the inmates aren't going crazy and doing things they shouldn't be doing, such as killing each other, which they are, you know, consistently doing. Now, this is interesting. We have a visitor right here who 
I guess this door is locked? Which is weird, that is a double visitor door. I'm not sure why that door would be locked, but apparently it is, and apparently that's just something we're gonna have to deal with. Now you, are you coming down to visitation? I think you might be, which is kind of fantastic. No, I don't, it looks like he went somewhere else, okay. Uh, so thus far, no one. Oh, here we go. So this is what we're looking for. I want my prisoners coming in here and sort of doing their thing. We have, got, we've got a few deaths over here and I'm noticing actually no guards uh, are actually guarding in here. So we might want to get our hands on a few more. We have 171 right now. Let's go for, you know what? Let's, what if I hold shift? Oh, that, that places them quickly. Let's go up to 200 because I can. We'll go for 200 guards and we'll go up to like 15 armed guards because let's be honest, we kind of have got the money to do that. So I'm not really super worried about uh, having enough guards to deal with everything. And honestly, having a few more guards might encourage the prisoners to stop murdering each other. That is, I think, what stopped them from killing each other the first time around when we first had these issues. So hopefully an overwhelming presence, an overwhelming number of guards is what will do the job and stop them from slaughtering each other constantly every day without fail or maybe they're just going to commit to it and keep murdering all of my guards either way we'll see what happens as time goes by uh, and in the meantime i want to have a look at the other rooms that we don't have because we don't currently have a library we don't currently have forestry which admittedly isn't a room but we don't have it and it's something i think would be good we don't have a mail room we don't have a shop and we did have a library mail room and shop in the previous prison so it might not be a bad idea to get those going again. Might not be a bad idea to get the vegetable allotment, the fruit orchard and farming fields going, as well as tattoo removal and fight clubs as well. A lot of things. There's a lot of things that we can get our hands on. And I think, honestly, I might start with storage, which I think is what this room down here could uh, potentially be. So we'll go ahead and just set this up as storage. I don't actually remember if this room was going to be anything else. So we'll just commit to the idea that this is what it is for now. And as for the interior, we'll just go for a metal floor in there. Since, you know, that's going to keep things nice and quick. As for lights, maybe just a couple of lights around the corners will be enough. Can I get a couple in the middle as well? I absolutely can. So that should be enough. I think we have a whole bunch of workers. So this really shouldn't take too long to build at all. We should have, and we do have, deliveries coming in as well. So all of this should come together relatively quickly, and all of our deliveries and leftovers and things like that can be moved into storage and are being moved into storage. So that's fantastic. Now, when it comes to things like the shop and the mailroom and the library, I'm almost wondering if it would be worth using some of the squares that we have, you know, dotted around here for those things. So for example, a library it can be any size thanks to some of the mutators that we have going but what if we were to go into planning and say that a library was going to be sort of here for example it's relatively central to everything or maybe this could be a shop or a mail room it doesn't really matter what this is going to be but that could be let's say that one's the shop let's say oh there's a light missing from that corner uh let's say that this one is our mail room and then what we could maybe do is head over this way and put a library in this space perhaps or this space perhaps so that we still have this clear space with the uh, with the tower there i don't hate that idea i think a couple of libraries for each side might even be an idea so the prisoners don't have to go too far Although they would have to go a bit of a distance from here to, say, the mail room. But that's probably okay. And I think, honestly, that is kind of what I'm going to do. I think that's that's kind of the way to do things. So if we look back at planning mode here, this is 8 meters long. So we could do a door right in the middle for the mail room, perhaps. And then this one, I would assume, is 8 meters long. So we can go ahead and do a door in the middle for the, the shop or whatever that's going to be. And for the libraries, I mean, we could just do, I guess a door right there is, is probably fair enough. And we can do the same on this side with a door. I think that's about the middle. Pretty sure that's the middle. It might, oh, I've gone a little bit overboard with this one. Uh, I'm pretty sure that's the midpoint right there. And I think, to be honest, what I might do here is just take out the corners at the back 
get some lights back there and just have a little bit of design to it, a little something something to make it less of just a rectangle. I mean, it's, you know what, we're going to do that with all the corners. We'll make that a thing with these newer buildings. The corners are cut out, we can put some lights in them, and it just gives us a little bit of design. I think I'm also going to make the libraries out of brick, just to be a little bit different with these. Everything else, well actually no, these buildings were brick as well, but the main buildings have all just been uh, white walls. So having the libraries out of brick, it does make them stand out a little bit, and it does sort of tie them into these sort of auxiliary buildings that we have here as well. Uh, these guys here though, I think we can probably just stick with the white walls. I think that's probably fair enough, so we'll just do something like, oh, we have to do it uh, this way and that way. And then over here we'll do the same thing, and I suppose we'll get ourselves some doors. Now, the doors on these guys, I think, can probably just be normal double doors. I don't think these have to be terribly secure. I mean, the, the mail room, well, it probably should be. It probably should be secure. I'm not going to secure it, but it probably should be. I I, pr I should be securing it. I'm not going to. I just, I just should be. Oh, now this is interesting. For some reason, my prisoners all appear to be not rioting necessarily, but standing with bags of garbage and like jumping up and down with bags of garbage. And I'm not I'm not really sure what that's about. That's something I've never seen them do before. So I almost wonder if there's been an update to the game since I last played it, where prisoners will now complain about, oh, these two are murdering each other, where prisoners will now complain about the state of the prison if it's filthy by standing there with bags of garbage. Now it's just ticked past midnight. We already have two deaths. I think it's safe to say my prison is not in a good place right now. Uh, you are, you are dead. I'm going to say you're definitely not dead. Okay, he's dead. No, he's still bouncing. He's still, <laughs> some not, honestly, I have no, I have no idea. No idea what's going on. So while all that construction is going on and while my prisoners are waking up in the morning to murder each other, as we are seeing, I actually did decide to go and pull up the Prison Architect subreddit because I was curious about something. And I saw someone talking about the fact that every morning uh, their prisoners are murdering each other or just every day their prisoners are trying to generally murder each other. And I saw a couple of comments talking about the idea that if I was to go into my regime and immediately, as soon as they wake up, I give them lockup and then put them into, say, shower time, which is admittedly going to mess with some of my uh, my scheduling, uh, well, that lockup actually, in theory, means I don't need shower time because they will be stuck in their cell. They will be awake and they will be showering. They'll do what they can in their cells, which is essentially go to the toilet and have a shower. So we'll see if that actually works out. I kind of hope it does. It'd be nice if they'd stop killing each other. We're up to nine, nine deaths already. Killed for being a snitch. Killed by guard with baton. Man, this... Uh, the rough prison. Also, narcotic search just turned up a shotgun. Just want to point that out. The narcotics search turned up a shotgun. Don't. Oh my god. Why do we have 12 deaths already? How? How do we? <laughs> oh my god. Okay, I'll tell you what. We're in eat time right now, and we somehow don't have enough guards in there. You know what? Give me another row of guards. And uh, we'll go down here. Give me another row of guards. Let's see if that ends up being enough. I have my doubts. I also realize that not all of my guards are actually assigned because many of them are bringing the new prisoners in. But the problem is they're going to be doing that every day because as it stands right now, my prisoners keep killing each other. And they're what are, what are you complaining about? What do you need? Require solitary confinement, but no cells are available. Are they all? I mean, yeah, they probably are all full, right? because they keep killing each other. It's not even noon and 15 people are dead. I mean, looking at the prisoners' needs as well, it's not like there's anything standing out. Food is getting up there a little bit. Bowels are getting up there a little bit. Privacy is getting up there a little bit. They're generally just miserable to be miserable at this point. One of the spiritual leaders we bring in for our religious programs has been riling up the inmates with all kinds of hateful speech. They've been fired, but the prisoners will take some time to cool down. 
Uh, I wonder if that's anything to do with it. I'm gonna say, I'm gonna doubt it. I'm honestly, I'm gonna doubt it. I doubt that is anything to do with it. I think what's going on, quite frankly, is I'm just terrible at this game. I, I genuinely, gen I can't, I can't think of anything else. That's all I've got. I just, I don't know where I'm going wrong. I really don't. I'm sure I could 100% probably go look at the YouTube comments and I, I, well, actually, you know what? The last, I'll be honest with you. The last time I looked at the comments, I'm pretty sure I did see several comments that were like, you know what? I actually have no idea what's going on myself. So good luck to you, fella, which was oddly reassuring. I'm going to be honest. That was, that was an oddly reassuring feeling. The, the, <laughs> This is the one game that I feel has unified the YouTuber and the comments into this realm of, you know, it's because sometimes it's like, hey, dum-dum, you know, here's how this works, right? And that's, that's a recurring theme with this channel, I feel. And there's a reason for that, I'm sure. I mean, I say I'm sure. I know there's a reason for that. Recently had a conversation. I've had a, this conversation with a few people over the years. And essentially the reason that, hey, dum-dum, here's how the game works is a recurring theme with this channel is because I am not a huge fan of reading guides and tutorials for games like this. I'll go and read a Reddit post or a, a thread or whatever if I have to. There's 25 deaths! All right, sorry, I got slightly distracted by the 25 deaths. Um, I'll go and read a Reddit post from time to time, but I don't necessarily go out of my way to look up how these things work because I like the discovery. I like the fun of of figuring it out i think that's part of the challenge and i i think that's part of the fun at least it's fun to me now i know that can be frustrating to watch right i i do i've there's some youtubers i watch here and there and i'll be like end of the day laying in bed chilling just watching some youtube and i'm i'm watching these guys and i'm laying there like man this must be what it's like to watch my videos because I'm laying there and I'm like, it's there, it's right in front of you, it's this. This is the problem, this is where you're going wrong. And yeah, it's, it's, it can be, it can be a whole thing. But the point of all this, the point of my rambling is that I feel as though Prison Architect is, is the, <laughs> it's the first game of the channel where we haven't had that because what I remember the most about the comments uh, from this series, which again, the last video was about about a month ago, uh, was that many of us were sitting watching this going, man, I have no idea what's going on or why they want to kill everything and everyone, but it's it sure is weird. And uh, it's nice. It's nice feeling a, a little bit, a little bit unified in that way. I'm going to be honest with you. It is, it is a nice feeling. Now, let's go ahead and get ourselves a couple of libraries. So this right here, library. This up here, library. Uh, this over here is going to be a mail room. And this right here is going to be a shop. And I'm pretty sure the shop actually needs a shop front, which we'll figure out in just a second. Uh, the library needs a shelf and sorting desk. So let's just get ourselves a library shelf, which can go there, there, and there, and there. We can do another couple of them down here as well. And then the sorting desks, I guess we can go, I don't know what way around the sorting desk is necessarily supposed to go. I think that way. Uh, so we'll go there and we'll go there for the sorting desks. And I think that'll be fine. And honestly, that's, that's probably good enough for the library for now. It doesn't need to be super complicated. So we'll go with this. Uh, and we'll just do the, where are they? The library shelves again. So one, two, three, four, and one, and two. And that seems fine by me. So that's going to be our libraries. We can get people working in those in no time at all. Uh, the mail room is going to need a sorting desk and some tables. So what I think I'll do with the mail room is go ahead and say uh, sorting desk here, here, here. And actually, let me cancel those real quick because I think the wrong way around. Uh, we'll do we'll do this. We'll do some sorting desks right in the middle, and we'll do some tables, I suppose, sort of dotted around the outsides of the room. And I think that's actually kind of cool looking, to be honest. We can maybe do a small table there and there. I do I do like that. I actually I actually do 
really like this little layout. I think that's pretty cool. Now, when it comes to the shop, it does require a shop front. So we have to take out a window here at the top and I'm going to take a window out here at the bottom as well. So I think we can have a couple of shop fronts right there and that'll look pretty good. Uh, we'll do some lights right in there and we'll do some lights just by the shop fronts as well. And that should be a pretty decent setup for all of the new rooms. In other news, 30 deaths today might be a new record. I'm going to be honest. Genuinely, genuinely might be a new record, which is horrifying to think about. Uh, I'm also noticing that shower time doesn't actually seem to result in any of my prisoners going to the shower rooms. And I imagine that's because they don't actually have any need for hygiene right now. But we'll see. What are they doing? Why are they... What is this jumping around with garbage thing that they're doing? I don't know what this means. Is it just, it's a booze bag? Are they trying to get rid of their, you know what? You know what? I'm not gonna let them, I'm not letting them sleep nicely tonight. We're gonna stop this tunnel search. We're gonna do a shakedown of all sectors. We're gonna search absolutely everywhere and we're gonna see what's in these cells. And I assume we're probably about to find a lot of things. We're probably going to annoy them quite a bit. Likely, we're going to, you know, upset them and cause some deaths. But at this point, it seems that not upsetting them causes death. So, really, whatever I do, it doesn't matter. 30 people are probably going to die in the next 24 hours. That's, that's just how it is. So we have the prisoners waking up in about an hour and a half. I've decided to go ahead and assign some jobs to these spaces here. And what is this? Working position cannot be reached. Okay, we're going to have to move this to here. And we're going to have to move this to here. And we might do the same down here at the bottom as well. Working position cannot be reached. I guess we might just have to rotate these guys into sort of the middle of the room instead. Uh, so something kind of like this will allow those to work. And uh, I guess we cancel that move, cancel that move. And we'll do kind of a similar thing say here and a similar thing say right about uh there and we'll go ahead and prioritize that so those rooms can be up and working but my hope is that once six o'clock comes along we have a lockdown the prisoners are in lockup and they are in fact showering every single one of them has decided to shower some of them go into the bathroom so my question now is when the lockup how 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 why what could he possibly have done in the last 34 minutes to warrant you killing him? I just, I don't under, I don't know. I just, I just, <laughs> I just don't know. Regardless, let's have a look at their needs. Let's see how they're doing. Bowels are fine. Bladder is fine. Hygiene is fine. So that's all good. Now they have a bit of free time. They all seem a little bit more chill, kind of pleasant, relaxed. You know, nothing too crazy going on. No one's losing their mind. No one's killed anyone yet. So this might actually be... that might It might be that simple. It might genuinely be that simple to, uh, to make this happen. Which is... Oh, no. Hold on a minute. Now, hold on a minute. We have a little something-something going on here. He's been tased. He's not dead, though. We've got something going on over here as well. He's unconscious. He's not dead, though. All right. Okay, this seems like a step is sort of in the right direction. The guards are doing... Oh, no, there it is. How did... Who died? How did... Prisoner. Killed by guard with baton. Okay, my guards... My guards probably need to use tasers. They probably really, really need to start using tasers because they're getting pretty bad with these batons. But, regardless... We're doing all right, I think. Why is... Uh, why is this power not connected? That's, that's kind of weird. Can we, can we prioritize this? Can I just prioritize making sure that everything is connected in these, uh, in these rooms? See, this one's connected. It is still free time, I suppose, so no one's actually working yet. Uh, I wonder if we should maybe move breakfast to be a little bit closer to lockdown. So if I go into the regime right now, it's lockdown, it's free time, and then eat. I almost wonder if we should flip those. So it's immediately, you know, breakfast into three hours of free time. And then we have to go into deployment and swap those around. So 
the fives become threes and the threes become fives. That might not be a bad idea. It does mean that today they're not getting breakfast, which I'm sure they're going to love. I'm sure that's going to lead to a much more peaceful day today uh, than it otherwise would have been. But, you know, they, they wake up, they're still in their cells, they get their shower, they have a bit of a, you know, you know, a, a bit of a and then they go out and they get their breakfast, right? That's, that's, that's the morning. That's the life of a, of an inmate here. What are you doing? What is, what is this guy actually done? Like, why, what have I, have I just duplicated something? I think I have. I don't, I don't know what that pop-up means. I'm probably never going to know. I could Google it, but like I said, I don't, <laughs> I don't follow guides. I'm stubborn like that. So, uh, we'll just see. When do they start working? They start work at noon, so we should have someone coming into the shop, I think. I would hope. Is anyone actually going to work in the shop? Yeah, there we go. So we have this. We have these guys work in the shop, which is great. We probably want to go in here and say that we want maybe four guards in there. We'll do two guards in the mail room, and we'll do two guards in the libraries as well. So that way, you know, they're not just completely left with their devices in there. But regardless, we do have them working in the shop, and that should make them happier. We have them in the mail room, which should keep them kind of happy. And libraries are a thing as well. So overall, they've got more things. I just sincerely wish they would stop murdering each other. That's that's really it. That's It's about that simple. Now, let's have a quick look at bureaucracy, because there are things we haven't unlocked yet, such as the non-lethal sniper. New ammunition that provides snipers the ability to fully use their gun without the fear of fatalities, unless the free fire order has been given. A sniper's shots can only ever cause prisoners to become unconscious. Let's do that. And also, we don't have any snipers right now. How many towers do we have? One, two, three, four, five, uh, six, seven, eight, nine. So I think 18 towers if we're going by symmetry. So, snipers are 2,000 a pop, and uh, how much each day? 500. All right. Well, we're going to get 18 snipers. That was 19. That might have just crashed the game. Oh, no, we're good. And that was 20. Let me uh, fire you, and let me fire you. And now, are they going to... What, the, what are they doing? They're going into the, lo the, uh, the armory. Some of them are making their way around to towers, which is great. So, that's not bad. That, I reckon, is probably going to encourage the prisoners to behave a little bit. Right? I mean, I would... I would. Okay, maybe not. Maybe not. It seems that uh, quite the opposite has happened. I did notice the lasers there on the snipers, though. I did... Uh, you know, I, <laughs> I did notice those lasers. Let's, have, let's, let's just show them who's boss for a second here. Let's, uh, let's just uh, free fire for a moment. Let's, let's see someone step out of line now. Ah, there it is. There it is. All right. Now they're learning. Now, now they're figuring out who's boss. That's, that's how we do things around here. Remember when I said that with this free update to Prison Architect that's coming soon, I was going to make the most, the, the most messed up. And I want you to replace the word messed with a, a similar word that begins with F. Uh, the most messed up, uh, <laughs> retirement home you've ever seen. Yeah. It's, it's gonna be, it's gonna be, it's gonna be so bad. It's gonna be, it's gonna be so bad. Oh, man. <laughs> I'm not, I'd say I'm not looking forward to it, but I kind of am. Uh, now, non-lethal sniper is on the way. Let's look into forestry labor. Let's look into a recycling thing. Let's start looking into legal as well. Might as well start researching all of those things. And I want to look at logistics here for us or deployment for a second as well. So this is shared. It's just interesting. To, it's interesting to me that we maybe don't have enough guards for all of this. Uh, this is shared though. It's just never used. I wanted to make sure it was shared so that I wasn't, you know, losing my mind wondering why the, uh, the prisoners were never using it. But... I guess they just use their cells, which is fine. Uh, now, what I am going to do, because we are likely to start running out of money, is uh, I'm going to go in and start dismantling some trees. Because that's obviously a thing that we've been doing for the longest time, and it does 
it does get us a pretty good amount of cash, let's be honest. So we'll just uh, just go ahead and dismantle about as many of these as I, uh, as I possibly can, I think. So right down to about there is pretty good by me. We can prioritize all of this because my workers aren't doing anything else right now. So they can all come through, go down through storage and start, you know, chopping some trees and doing their thing. Now, in about 10 seconds time, we are going to be getting our hands on non-lethal snipers. And that is something I'm very excited about because I would imagine... What are my snipers doing? I think I think they might be going to rest, which is probably fair enough. Uh, what I'm curious about, though, is seeing if the snipers will just open fire now. They're only, I would imagine, going to use lethal force if... I, I mean, that's what it said, if I f let them free fire. So I think my snipers now are fully non-lethal. I'm also pretty sure I might have... Hmm. It would be nice if they were still in these guard towers, but I think we'll just... Uh, we'll leave them be for now. I think they are probably just going to break. It looks like they're coming back as well, so... We'll have them hop into the towers. We have a couple down here as well who are dead. Killed by guard with baton. Killed by guard with baton. How does that keep happening? And why are you bouncing again? I don't... I don't understand. I don't know what's going on with this. Or why they're bouncing again. There's also 31... 32 deaths. I don't... I just don't know. I, just, I don't... I don't know. I don't know that I care. It's fine. I'm actually... I'm gonna be honest with you. I do love this prison. I really love this prison, and I think we might do another uh, episode on this prison because I would, I would like to get through all the research, and I would like to look into the rooms that we don't have yet, such as tattoo removal and the Fight Club as well. Uh, I'm not going to go into padded cells and all that stuff. I'm not really going to go too crazy or much further with this prison because it is, it is very frustrating having everyone killing each other. But what I am really excited about is the idea of starting a new prison in, in the not too distant future. Uh, and seeing if we can make something that's just ridiculous. It's just going to be a prison for old age pensioners. And uh, I really hope it's not like this because there's going to, it's, it's, what, on one hand, it'll be really frustrating if they're just killing each other. And on the other, more morbid hand, there is a sense of um, that being really inappropriately funny. So, um, yeah, I'm, I'm looking forward to it. <laughs> I'm looking forward to the next Prison Architect expansion because it's either, for me, going to be a fresh start where we can build a prison and not have people killing each other, or it's going to be a continuation of them killing each other, but because it's a bunch of elderly inmates, it's going to be so, so inappropriate and so it's just messed up. I'm not going to I'm not going to use the word funny, but it's going to be... It's going to be something. <laughs> it's what it's going to be. It's going to be something, all right.